Welcome everybody, Mike Martinez, and today I got a friend and partner, Mr. Nate Walker, Nathaniel Walker, but his friends call him Nate, so we're going to call him Nate. Uh, Nate, thanks for coming by, man. Thanks for being on this meeting with me, man. No problem, Mike. How you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. You know, uh, one of the things that, uh, well, what we're going to be discussing today is the, the fact that our company is open and, and seeking out uh, to, to help people train to be licensed and bonded public adjusters. Both myself and Nate are licensed and bonded public adjusters. I am in the state of New Jersey. Mr. Nate is in, is in North Carolina. Um, now, Nate, you came from New Jersey. You're, you're now in North Carolina. What do you see as far as the public adjusting business in North Carolina? Well, literally, it's a little known industry here. Uh, it's wide open because obviously everything has to carry a, a, a property casualty uh, insurance. And uh, North Carolina is in the middle of a building boom. I mean, everywhere you look, uh, there are, are subdivisions popping up, apartment complexes popping up, you know, uh, businesses. And each and every one of them need to carry that policy. And each and every one of those people are people who I can potentially help uh, with my career path. Yeah, and you guys get a fair amount of storms. Uh, you know, just uh, I think just a few years ago, you had Matthew and, and I mean, you get uh, almost on a yearly basis, right? Well, yeah, the North Carolina coast is quite active during storm season, you know, uh, and as you know, the weather patterns have been changing uh, to more severe. Uh, here in recent history with uh, storms just popping up out of nowhere. Uh, not only just, uh, not only hurricane season, which starts in about uh, two months, but also just uh, storms in general. Uh, we'll have a storm watch open uh, tonight, actually. Mm, really? Mm, that's very interesting. Very interesting. So let me ask you this. As far as uh, the economy is concerned and as far as the public adjusting business, how that links together, um, is it, is it a recession? Uh, you know, is it, is it, a uh, a, an industry that's affected by the economy and, in, in, in one way or the other? Uh, no, not really because, uh, North Carolina, uh, has many, uh, different, uh, uh, ways to create, uh, uh, an income. Uh, I'm here in, uh, near Research Triangle Park. Uh, the Triangle is uh, Chapel Hill, uh, Durham, and Raleigh. Mm. Uh, but in the middle is a, a, a technology park that's been there since the 60s where a lot of companies like IBM and, and other companies have their headquarters. Mm. A lot of research, a lot of big uh, pharmaceutical companies out there as well. And also, as you know, with industry, uh, they bring people. And that's uh, a big reason for uh, the, the construction boom in the area, uh, not only uh, to mention the fact that a lot of people are coming to Carolina to retire because uh, North Carolina has both mountains and ocean. Yeah, that's, that's a beautiful thing, man. That's a beautiful thing. And I'll tell you, you know, um, I don't know what, what the unemployment statistics are in the state of North Carolina. You know, we went from, uh, you know, what, what, some people were saying was a decent economy to now having, you know, um, well, half a million people in North Carolina filed right. for insurance in the last, uh, uh, unemployment insurance in the last two weeks. Right. Right. So, so that, that, that became, uh, and, and what we're doing is we're actually offering a, pe a people to take a look at what it is that we're offering even on a part-time basis, because on a part-time basis, you can make some really, really good money. On average, uh, a, 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 a ground-level public adjuster can make, you know, upwards of $300 an hour for doing the work that we do. And we actually take you step-by-step step with the training. Now, that's a good question, and it segues me into asking you uh, how – is the training and, and 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 how did you find that process of getting licensed and stuff like that well the licensing is pretty much up to you you know you can go at your own pace uh if it's important to you to get it done right away uh you have that opportunity 
Uh, if you're a person who's working uh, uh, a job and you only want to do it part time, you can actually use this uh, opportunity to sort of fill in the gaps, both financially and uh, time wise. And you, 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 you control your own schedule, right? Right. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So uh, for anybody that's looking at this, this is this is the message and this is what we want to convey to you. If you're looking at this and it sparked an interest, hey, you know what, that, that uh, you know, becoming a public adjuster, and just so that we're clear, so that there's no misunderstanding, public adjusters help homeowners when they have damage to their property, and we help them fill out the claim so that they get the highest possible settlement based on their policy. So uh, we're not working for the insurance company, we're, we're working for the homeowner to ensure that the insurance company pays them fairly. So that's what we do, that's what a public adjuster is. You need to get licensed and bonded by your state. And this well, case, I, go ahead. I, I uh, you know, I, I do tell people that uh, being a licensed bonded public adjuster is, is a great position to be in. And the reason that I say that is because, uh, especially here in North Carolina, few people realize that uh, a policy can be reopened up to three years after it's been settled. Mm -hmm. If there is, uh, um, you know, if there is, is liability there. In other words, if, if, if you were underpaid or if you were denied a claim, I can legally go in uh, and we can get that claim reopened if it has merit. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one of the things. The other thing is uh, I like to tell my uh, clients that we sit on your side of the table during insurance negotiations. Our job is to prevent you from making costly mistakes, uh, prevent you from saying things that the insurance company could potentially use to lower your claim or uh, deny it altogether. Because uh, obviously uh, insurance companies make a tremendous amount of money uh, managing their claims output. And we just wanna make sure that uh, our clients aren't casualties of that uh, management style. Uh, our job is to make sure that the uh, client's property is restored to its pre-loss condition. We want to make sure that every nail that was out of place is back into place. Mm. Well said, man. Well said. And you know what? The, the, the tragedy for most homeowners is that they don't even know we exist. They don't know you know, if you go to the local mall and you stop 10 people and you say, what is a public adjuster? Most people have no clue. That's why I went through the trouble of, 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 of articulating what it is that we do. Because the, the average homeowner doesn't know. They, they believe, you know, the, the Geico commercials and the progressive commercials and all state. And they believe uh, the propaganda that they're going to be taken care of. But the fact of the matter is that homeowners... Or, or actually uh, uh, insurance companies have a certain hierarchy on how the money should go divided. And the first thing is obviously the company. The company needs to get paid the bulk of the money. Right. And then investors and then agency people, the people that are selling the policies, and then you got the homeowners. So there, there's really a conflict of interest you also here. You also forget about the billions of dollars they spend exhibiting the duck and the lizard and the good hands people and everything. Uh, I think they spend almost as much money on advertising as they do on settling claims. Yeah, I think, I think actually they spend more because you know what? I saw a statistic of one company, one company in 2018, and, and anybody is free, I, I'm not gonna mention the company, but anybody is free to uh, do the research on Google, but one company spent $1.1 billion in advertising in, in 2018. That's just one, right? So think about how much money this company is making. In order, you know, the average company spends, I don't know, probably 20 to 30% of their budget, of their profits in, into advertising. So think about how much money we're talking about. So it's, it's an well, incredible amount. Right. One other thing, Mike, that you have to kind of pay attention to. If you, if, if Jersey is anything like North Carolina, half the commercials on television are telling you how great the insurance companies are. The other uh, half of the commercials are people like us telling you how 
to protect yourself against the insurance companies. You got the slip and fall people, you got the auto accident people, and you've got us protecting people uh, filing their homeowners claims. Right. You know, so if, if you look at it again, half the people are, are selling insurance, the other people are, are defending against the insurance companies. I mean, even all the way down to uh, recently released prescription drugs, you know, a, a drug will come out this month and six months later, you know, the ads are going to come up saying, uh, we, re you know, we're representing, you know, against this particular drug and this is what happened. The reason is, is because uh, uh, insurance companies are extremely powerful and they need people like us sitting on the, the client side of the table to help them to uh, defuse certain situations. Absolutely, absolutely. So here's the bottom line, whoever is looking at this. Uh, two things. Number one, if you've experienced damage to your property, what you want to do is you want to you want to have somebody on your side. If you've experienced uh, some damage and you didn't get a public adjuster or you're currently experiencing damage and you're going through a claim, you want to have somebody representing you. You want to have somebody on your side of the table. Trust me when I tell you there's a huge difference in what the settlement amount is going to be. So uh, if you are experiencing damage and you want representation or you've experienced damage, like Nate said, in some cases, up to three years, we need to verify everything, obviously, but in some cases, up to three years, we go as far as three years to make sure that you um, get paid properly, get paid fairly. But pick up the phone, give us a call, let us know that, you know, you saw this video and that you'd like to have some, you know, you'd like to have us take a look at it. There's no cost for us to go over there and 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 take a look at your damage take a look at your policy take a look at what you recovered if you recovered something the best time however to to contact us is before you actually call the insurance company why because the fact of the matter is that six out of ten claims are initially denied in the very first phone call why because you say something that you're not supposed to say you say something in response to a question that they're asking you and they're very slick and very articulate and how they're they're very trained and what questions to ask you when you call them they automatically have uh your your policy in front of them and they're looking at that and they know what to ask you and some of the questions that they ask you may may hurt your claim so we say let us take that responsibility that's what we get paid for and when it comes to pay, there's no, no out-of-pocket cost for you. We work just like lawyers, like Nate was saying, comparing us to, to, to lawyers. We work like lawyers in the sense that it's, a, it's a, 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 on a contingency basis. So if we don't get you anything, you don't pay anything. But, and, and there's no out-of-pocket cost for you, for us to start that process of, of representing you. One, one, second, other, but, one, one other thing I'd like to say, Mike, is this. You have to consider when you file a claim that even small insurance companies file over a thousand claims a month. You may file one or two claims in your entire lifetime. You have to think about who holds the power in that situation. How do you level the playing field so that all of the experience and knowledge that the phone company has in sometimes denying claims or underpaying under claims? That doesn't always happen now, but it does happen. Mm -hmm. versus you, a person who's never filed a claim in your life. Yeah, you know, that's, that's uh, especially when you've been brainwashed to believe that the insurance company adjuster works for you and not the insurance company. The insurance company adjuster works in the, 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 uh, the benefit of the insurance company, not in benefit of the policyholder. So you need someone on your side of the table that understands the language, that knows how to fight the good fight on your behalf, so that you're treated fairly because again a thousand to one that's not good odds right right they're much more familiar with the process and you're not and right. the second thing that i want to bring to you guys attention is that we are aggressively hiring we are aggressively taking people and training them to be public adjusters and this is something that you could do on on your schedule is something that you could do from home and and we walk you through the process not only to get you licensed and bonded but actually to get you to a professional level so that you can be a professional in this industry 
and be able to go out there and help people. And this is what it's all about. You know, I, I have a team of people. And what I tell my people is, you know, don't chase after claims, chase after helping people and, and, and the claims will come to you. And, and that's the way it works, right? So if you're looking at this and it sparks an interest, number one, you may have a claim. Number two, wow, I didn't even know that I had the accessibility of becoming a public adjuster. I'm telling you, pick up the phone, give myself or give Nate a call and say, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm in your local area. I saw your video. I want to get started training. What do you say, Nate? Uh, absolutely. And again, you have to remember that we're in a field where uh, there's little, uh, little pushback because people need help filing their claims. Claims happen every day and claims are denied every day because of lack of knowledge or because of a slip of the tongue. So you need mm -hmm. someone to represent you and we're building an army and we'd like you on our team. That's it. We're building an army for a force of good, right? And, right. and we're against, we're, we're battling a billion dollar companies and we're doing it for the little guy, for the little guy to have the resources to just get paid fairly. That's it. We're not looking to, you know, to, uh, uh, to take anything that doesn't belong to us. We're not looking to, to add more than what we should be getting. But we want to make sure that the policy is, is used properly, that the person is, ta is not taking advantage and, and, and is being uh, dealt fairly. So, again, pick up the phone. If you got a claim, great. Nate and I can be of, uh, of assistance. Or if you want to start training to be a public adjuster, Nate and I can walk you through the process, help you get licensed, help you get bonded, and help you get started in a career where you're actually helping people. Anything else before we close here? No, Mike, I think you covered all the bases. All right. Nate, I, I want to thank you for uh, being part of this, uh, this uh, Zoom meeting. But uh, I also want to uh, encourage whoever is out there. Nate has an incredible training, uh, you know, has an incredible way of, of taking people and walking them through the process. He's gone through the process and he understands it and he knows how to help you get licensed, how to help you get bonded, how to help you start looking at policies, all that good stuff. Uh, Nate can be a tremendous resource as I am myself. So pick up the phone, give us a call, let us know that you're ready to take a look. And that's all we're saying. Take a look, see well, if it makes sense. Until and, next and, time, thanks, man. Go ahead. And, and during this turbulent time, being an independent contractor, having control over your time and your finances is a plus, not a minus. Absolutely. You know, being able to go out and, and uh, do business on your own without waiting for someone to take you by the hand and tell you that you're worth $10 an hour or $15 an hour. You getting out there making things happen for yourself. Now's the Absolutely. time to look toward the future and look for your financial future. And if helping people is the way to do it, and that's what you know makes you happy, then you need to come work with us because all we do is help people, both residential policy holders as well as commercial policy holders. Yeah, and, and now that you brought up commercial, before we go, I want to say, listen, if you are a roofer, contractor, plumber, uh, tree service, you're coming across these situations on a consistent basis. And, and this, is, this could just be an added income stream for you, a very passive income stream for you, because the bottom line is uh, we can work together so that your clients are being paid by for the damage that they're experiencing damage that you are rectifying in one way or another. And, and again, it's, a, it's an added income stream for you. So again, pick up the phone, give us a call, say, hey, how can I, how can I uh, help grow my business, my income, my wealth through this idea? Nate, you're done? Yep. All right, man. Thank you very much, Nate. I appreciate it. And again, if you're looking at this, pick up the phone, give us a call. If you got a claim or if you'd like to learn how uh, you can become a public adjuster yourself. Until next time, we'll be speaking to you soon. Have a great day.